It's time once again for your daily news update with Dennis Daly. Now, here's Dennis with today's report. Thanks and hi again, everybody. It may seem odd to talk about baseball this time of year, but we just learned about a year-long program that is helping grade school students learn about science by using baseball. Students in 4th through 7th grade are working to create the ultimate sports experience, pretending that baseball could be played on Mars. The Jet Propulsion Laboratory in California partnered with the National Baseball Hall of Fame to host workshops. The first was held several months ago. Students create uniforms, stadium concepts, and rules for playing baseball, taking into consideration such things as Mars gravity, which is about one-third of the gravity of Earth. For example, a 220-pound slugger on Earth would weigh 83 pounds on Mars. Speaking of stargazing, this is the time of the year that many planetariums have shows depicting the night sky 2,000 years ago in a search for the star of Bethlehem. Back in the 1600s, the German astronomer Kepler determined that a series of three conjunctions of planets, including Jupiter and Saturn, happened in 7 BC. Modern calculations show, though, that there was a gap of nearly a degree between the planets, so those conjunctions were not visibly impressive. Other writers suggested the star was a comet. Halley's Comet was visible in 12 BC, and another object was recorded by the Chinese in 5 BC. The ancient writings say the comet hung over several cities. That type of wording was used by the early church to talk about the star of Bethlehem. I'm Dennis Daly, wishing you a very Merry Christmas. That's today's Daily News Update.